This video will show you how to make a cat pillow using a simple hair simulation in Blender, please watch it up to the very end. When you open Blender, first go to the modifier properties and add a subdivision surface modifier. Increase the viewport levels to 2. Click on this Z and press tab to go to the edit mode. Press S then Y to scale it up along the Y. Click on this X to go to another side view, then press Ctrl R and scroll to add two edge loops then press S then Y to scale them apart up to that level. Press S then Z to scale it down along the Z. Now press Tab to go back to the object mode. Come to the modifier properties and increase the viewport levels to 3. Press Shift A and go to curve then add a circle. Click on this Z to go to a top view then press S to scale it up. Now select this cube then come to the modifier properties and add a curve modifier. Under curve object select the bezier circle. Click here and change the deform axis to Y. Click on this Z to go to a top view then select the circle and press tab to go to the edit mode. Select these points and press S to scale them up a little. Select these ones too and press S to scale them down a bit. Go on adjusting these points like that until the results look good to you. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. Come to the modifier properties and select the subdivision surface modifier then press shift D to duplicate it. Click on it and hold then move it below the curve modifier. Now press S then X to scale it down a bit. Come to the modifier properties and click here then apply them one by one from top to bottom. Now go to the particle properties and click on this plus icon to add a particle system. Change it from emitter to hair. Click here to activate advanced in order to be able to use full physics calculations for growing hair. Reduce the hair length to a reasonable size. Scroll down and click on this drop down arrow on physics. Under forces increase on the Brownian to somehow create some distortions. Increase on the dump also a little bit. Scroll down and click on this drop down arrow on viewport display then increase the strand steps to about 5 to make hair a bit smoother. Scroll up and increase the number to 10,000. Increase on the segments to make the hairs even more flexible. You can scroll down and increase on the Brownian for better results. Keep on adjusting the Brownian and dump values until the results look fine to you. In my case I'm using the ones you're seeing on the screen right now. Now go to Object and Shade it Auto Smooth. Increase the number of particles to 100,000. Scroll down to Viewport Display and reduce the amount to 12% in order to reduce on the processing power. Click on this drop-down arrow on Render and increase these steps to 5 as well. Now click here to go to the Render Preview. Come to the Render Properties and change it from EV to Cycles. Decrease the Render Samples to about 100. Expand this area and change it to a Shade Editor. Click up here and deactivate Scene World. Adjust the color of this object to your liking. Go to the Material Properties and click on this plus icon to add another material slot. Click here on New to add a new material. You can name it Hair Material. Come back to the Particle Properties and scroll down to Render then under Material switch it to the Hair Material. You can now see that our hairs are assigned their own material. In the Shader Editor, press Delete to delete the principled BSDF Shader node. Press Shift A and go to Shader then add a principled hair BSDF Shader node. Plug it into Surface. Press Shift A and add a wave texture. Plug it into Color. Press Shift A and add a color ramp then adjust the colors to your liking. You can bring these points closer to make the colors more vivid. You can also reduce on the scale to make the bands larger. Now click on his Wave Texture node and press Ctrl T to add a Texture Coordinate and Mapping node. Plug Object into Vector and change this from Point to Normal. Now you can see the hair textures following the geometry. 
You can now go ahead and work on your scene further and render. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial up to now, I really appreciate you. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.